Lincoln. Hi guys, I am in Lincoln's playroom right now. I wanted to record a short video of just how I organize Lincoln's toys. I get asked all the time how I keep Lincoln's toys neat and tidy. And he's just waking up from his nap. I don't know if you can hear that, but I'm about to go get him. And I will show you guys everything that I do, how I organize them, where I buy his toys, because I get a lot of those questions as well. And yeah. Let's just get started. So this is Lincoln's playroom. Back up so you can kind of see the whole thing, <laughs> but it's just a couch over here. It used to be a living room, but we decided Lincoln needed a little bit more space to play. This is like where most of his toys are um, inside these baskets. And then over here in this chest that I got from an antique store forever ago, uh, that's where we keep his stuffed animals. Anyways, let's just get into it. I'm going to show you what is in each basket. All right, so we're gonna start right here in this first cubby. First thing we're looking at right now is his books. He has a ton of books, but these are just a few of them. And these first four are all from Goodwill. If you didn't know, Goodwill has books for 40 cents and you can actually find some pretty good stuff there. And then he loves this little stacker and he likes to play with these trains, little magnetic trains from Ikea. And then moving on to this basket right here, we've got his musical instruments. We found this for like 20 bucks on Amazon for the whole pack. And there's even more that he's been playing with in his pack and play over there. But I absolutely recommend getting this set off of Amazon. And then moving up here to this basket, these are his Duplos. These connect and turn into trains. So he has a lot of fun stacking these. And then they also, I don't know if you can see that they have letters on the sides. So we've been kind of been playing with um, writing his name out, even though I know he doesn't really get it yet, but that's okay. So these are fun. So then moving down to this bottom section, these are his blocks. And these blocks are actually really cool because they're underwater themed. So as you can see, this one's a sand dollar. And on this side, it shows the sand dollar up close. And I'm going to be completely honest, I have no idea what any of these letters mean. And then up here in the top right cubby, we've got his little abacus, also from Ikea. And then a couple more books and like a little toy car that Adam used to have in, as display in his office, which is now the little baby's room. So moving on to the bottom right basket, this is our like totally random basket. As you can see, there's an old roll of paper towels in here. And... There are soft books, cars. He likes to push these little cars around. So yeah, it's kind of just a random, a random basket. And then up here, we've got his xylophone. It's supposed to look like a caterpillar, but our other dog, one of our dogs ate the other stick. And then it is from the company Melissa and Doug, and this is on Amazon. A lot of our toys are from there. So if you want to check out Melissa and Doug, go for it. This is another little truck that he likes to get down and play with. It's got magnets at the top, so it sticks to this guy. Anyways, he likes to have fun with that. This is from Ikea. And then above our little cubbies, we have the US map. <laughs> we got this from a company called Gather, and I am obsessed with all of their products, so I recommend it. We are just using it as decoration right now, but you can use these mats for literally anything picnics you can use it under a high chair to catch food um, we have their changing mat we have their bib we have a ton of their stuff so if you want to know where that is i'll link it below that's honestly all of our toys he has more books in his nursery that i can show you and he has a little arts and crafts box that i can show you real quick so in this little linen closet where we just keep like towels and stuff we have this little arts and crafts box it just has like little paints. We use this for a Father's Day gift. We like to play with these when he's outside using his water table. But yeah, that is everything that's in here. He's not super into arts and crafts yet. And then these are the rest of his books. We got this bookshelf from Amazon and we love it. He's also got this handmade crown from his birthday that he likes to put on and play with. And this fox we're using as decoration right now, but he likes to play with that too. This is his nursery, if you were wondering.
So yeah, that is all of his toys. We like to keep it pretty minimal, pretty organized. I would definitely recommend one of these little cubes with the baskets. Those are both from Target, but I know that they have them at Ikea as well um, for cheap. So yeah, the baskets definitely keep it organized for us. And we just like to have minimal stuff. I mean, I know it's a lot still, but it's also not a lot. Um, I just don't like it to look like Fisher Price threw up all over my house. Um, and I really don't think he needs a ton of toys. Um, he prefers to play with a water bottle, a paper towel holder. Um, he was playing with a tube of Vaseline this morning for like an hour. <laughs> so, I mean, obviously he enjoys playing with his toys too. <laughs> but I just don't think that kids need as much stuff as people buy them. Lincoln. My tips for keeping your kids toys tidy would just be have a place for everything and if they're not playing with it at the moment, just put it away. I hope that this video was helpful for you and maybe gave you some ideas of ways to organize your kids toys. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for two new videos every single week. Bye guys.